The air shimmers, the sun, a relentless god, bakes the land. This is Kuwait in the summer, a crucible of heat. Temperatures soar, pushing the limits of human endurance. The very air seems to crackle with the intensity of the sun's rays. This tiny nation nestled in the heart of the Middle East becomes a testament to the raw power of nature. Kuwait is at the mercy of the sun. The sun's grip on this land is unyielding, casting a relentless blaze over its vast deserts and bustling cityscapes. Its geographical location, just a few degrees north of the Tropic of Cancer, places it directly under the sun's glare for a significant part of the year. This positioning subjects Kuwait to some of the most intense solar exposure on the planet. This proximity to the equator means that the sun's rays strike the Earth at a near vertical angle. The directness of these rays amplifies their intensity, making the heat almost palpable. The result is an intense concentration of solar energy, heating the ground and the air above it to extreme temperatures. The desert sands shimmer with heat and the air itself seems to ripple under the sun's relentless assault. This relentless heat is not a fleeting visitor, it is a permanent resident. The sun's presence is a constant, unyielding force that shapes daily life. For months on end, Kuwait swelters. The summer season stretches on with temperatures soaring to levels that challenge even the hardiest of residents. Day after day, the temperature climbs. The mercury in thermometers rises steadily, often reaching well above 50 degrees Celsius. It is a slow, inexorable rise that tests the limits of life. People seek refuge in the shade. Air-conditioned spaces become sanctuaries and the struggle against the heat becomes a daily battle. The land itself seems to bake under the intense heat, the sand becoming too hot to touch. The very ground beneath one's feet feels like a furnace, a testament to the sun's unrelenting power. The skyline of Kuwait shimmers in the distance, often distorted by the heat waves rising from the ground. Mirages appear, a visual reminder of the extreme conditions that define this region. Yet despite these harsh conditions, life persists. The people of Kuwait have adapted using traditional clothing and modern solutions to cope with the sun's grip. Their resilience is a testament to human endurance in the face of nature's extremes. Kuwait is engulfed by the Arabian Desert, a vast expanse of sand and stone. This unforgiving landscape plays a crucial role in shaping the country's extreme climate. The desert, with its lack of vegetation and dry sandy soil, acts like a giant solar panel absorbing and radiating heat back into the atmosphere. The desert wind, known as the Shamal, blows across this heated landscape, carrying hot, dry air into Kuwait. The wind, often laden with sand, whips through the country, exacerbating the already extreme temperatures. The Shamal is a constant reminder of the desert's dominion over Kuwait's climate. Its arrival signifies another surge in temperature, another challenge for the people and wildlife that call this land home. Section 4, a thirsty land. Rainfall in Kuwait is a rare and precious event. When the skies do open up, it is often a brief and fleeting moment, leaving behind a temporary respite for the parched land. The country's desert climate brings extremely low precipitation, averaging less than 120 millimeters per year. This meager amount of rainfall is not enough to sustain lush vegetation or replenish water sources. This chronic lack of rainfall has a profound impact on the environment, leaving the land parched and contributing to the scorching temperatures. The ground, devoid of moisture, cracks and splits, creating a harsh and unforgiving landscape. Without the cooling effect of regular rainfall and moisture, the ground bakes under the relentless sun. The heat waves shimmer over the desert soil, creating an illusion of water that is never there. The absence of significant cloud cover further intensifies the sun's impact. With no clouds to provide shade or relief, the sun's rays penetrate the ground with unyielding intensity. With clear skies dominating for most of the year, the sun's rays beat down unimpeded, heating the ground and the air with full force. The heat haze that rises from the desert floor is a constant reminder of the extreme conditions. This lack of cloud cover, while providing endless sunshine, contributes to the extreme heat that defines Kuwait's climate. The relentless sun combined with the arid conditions creates an environment where survival is a constant challenge for both flora and fauna. 
Despite these harsh conditions, some resilient plants and animals have adapted to survive in this thirsty land. They have evolved unique mechanisms to conserve water and endure the extreme heat. The wildlife too has developed remarkable adaptations to cope with the scarcity of water and the intense heat. These creatures are a testament to the resilience of life in one of the most challenging environments on Earth. Section 5, Barren Expanse. The landscape of Kuwait is largely devoid of dense vegetation. The scorching heat and lack of rainfall make it incredibly difficult for most plants to survive. This scarcity of greenery contributes significantly to the extreme temperatures. Vegetation plays a vital role in regulating temperature by absorbing sunlight for photosynthesis and releasing moisture into the air through transpiration. Without the cooling effect of widespread vegetation, the ground absorbs more solar radiation, leading to higher surface temperatures and consequently a hotter atmosphere. The absence of lush forests and verdant fields leaves Kuwait exposed to the full brunt of the sun's heat, making it a land of extremes. Section 6 Concrete Jungle Kuwait City, the nation's bustling capital, faces an additional challenge, the urban heat island effect. This phenomenon is not unique to Kuwait, but its impact here is particularly severe due to the city's rapid urbanization and extreme summer temperatures. This phenomenon occurs in densely populated urban areas where concrete structures and asphalt surfaces absorb and trap heat, making cities significantly warmer than their surrounding rural counterparts. The heat retained by these materials is then slowly released, keeping the city warmer even after the sun has set. The concrete jungle of Kuwait City becomes a heat trap. The dense concentration of buildings and infrastructure creates a microclimate where temperatures can soar to uncomfortable levels. Buildings, roads and other infrastructure absorb vast amounts of solar radiation, turning the city into an oven. The heat is not just uncomfortable, it can also have serious health implications, particularly for vulnerable populations such as the elderly and children. The lack of green spaces within the city further exacerbates this issue. Green spaces act as natural air conditioners, cooling the air through the process of evapotranspiration. Parks, trees and other vegetation help mitigate the urban heat island effect by providing shade and releasing moisture into the air. They also offer a respite from the concrete and asphalt, creating pockets of cooler air that can make a significant difference in overall temperature. However, in Kuwait City, concrete dominates the landscape, amplifying the already intense heat and making urban living a challenge during the summer months. Efforts to increase green spaces and incorporate more sustainable urban planning are essential to combat this issue and improve the quality of life for the city's residents.